Hello everyone, this is Brenda from Brenda Stitch. I just want to preface the second part of this video um, by telling you about the store that I visited in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Uh, it was just a little store. It was called Stitches Unlimited and I was looking around. They had, you know, a lot of uh, models stitched up. It was a really cute shop and around the corner there was this big trunk um, and on the top of it it said Christmas in July. And I was looking through the trunk and I saw things, a couple dollars, four dollars, etc. And then the lady came over to me and she goes, oh, if you're interested in anything in that trunk, we're at the end of our sale and we're going to let it all go for 50 cents a piece. I was like, 50 cents a piece? Everything in here is 50 cents a piece? And she was like, yeah, 50 cents a piece. Well, all of a sudden, this song started playing in my head. Needless to say, I said to my boyfriend, maybe you better have a C, because this is going to take a while. And I looked through everything in that box. Um, unfortunately, I was on the motorcycle, so I really had to just take things I could fit in there. We didn't have a whole lot of space. Um, and what you're going to see next is what I actually got. I hope you enjoy. Bye. And this is my receipt. That's what I paid for everything I'm about to show you. And the, also, these are charts that people there had um, designed, so I thought that was really great, too. So this is called Sampler Ornament Peace on Earth. It's really cute. 50 cents. The next one is the ABC Noel. You can just change the date. I mean, it's still a beautiful pattern. This one is snow, Snowman Ornament, a Snow Mary. The next one was um, one that was in particular designed there. It's F is for Farm, and this is the one I think I will do to remember my trip down there. It's really cute. It's by Carriage House Sampling, uh, Manchester, Maryland, it looks like. <clears throat> okay. You're just not going to believe how much stuff I got. <laughs> this is um, the Santa, another Santa ornament called to Toy Noah. This is Rejoice in Peace. You can either do it framed as I did it here or as a um, ornament. Oh, I forgot to tell you, all of these in this particular packets also have charms. So every one of them has a charm on it. So that's the star in this one. And this one I just showed you has a couple of little stars to put on. I thought that was great. You get the pattern and the charm. Couldn't beat that for 50 cents. Um, this is called Watchful Angel. And that one has a little angel design uh, ornament there. The next one is called Old O Holy Night. And it has a big star ornament on it. These patterns were originally like $8 patterns. <clears throat> the next one is Mary Yule Santa. Let's see if I can get the glare off. There we go. And then this one has a couple of different um, things. I think it's a Santa. And then some charms for the tree. This one is called Bootiful Santa. He's in a little stocking there. And 
food for this one. Just on the back, little charm. It's a little teddy bear. Needless to say, I bought one of every ornament they had of these. Eventually, I would probably stitch every one of them for a trade for my kids, for my family. This one is called Peace. And there's little star charms for this one. The next one is called Merry Millennium. You can tell how old these were. It's flying Santa there. And the charm for this one is a big star. I really like the colors in this one. It's called Button Heart Sampler. This one I don't believe came with any charms, but you can. I have tons of old buttons that I could definitely add to this one. This next one is called. It's a purely samples. Um, I don't see the name of this one here. I think it's just Noel. Okay, I have a few more of those. I'm just not in the plastic. So this one is called Annual Sampler Ornaments. There's two here. This house believes in Santa, but looks like a little postage stamp. And then, with all good wishes for a peace-filled holiday. This one I liked. I just liked it done on this color. It's so bright and cheerful. Um, it just says September. You could take that off if you want and just have it done that way. And I think... On here, there's some little ladybug um, charms kind of stuff. And the last couple of patterns here I have. This one is a Cricut collection. Um, there's a Christmas pillow that you would, um, you would get the embellishments and put that on. And then there's Santa. <laughs> in a boat, and I really like that one. There it is, a little bigger. I got this one, I thought this was interesting. Um, I may give it away in one of my giveaways. It's called Sophisticated Ladies. And let's see if I can show you, oh, it's on the back. Some more, but these are all the designs that are in there. I thought that might be really cute to do up. I got one cross stitch magazine, an old one. But I love this pillow that's on the front of it. And also inside here, there's a pattern for a biscone. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I've never done one of those before. So I really would like to give this a, a try. Also in this magazine is the black work design that um, I think... Yuli, Yuli is did on her um, YouTube, and that's really cute too. So that was a magazine again. I got that for fifty cents, and then I got some fabric. All of everything here is like I said, fifty cents. This is I think a pillow insert. I believe you do your cross stitch there in the center. I'm going to pick a 
have my camera still so excited there. Cross stitch in the center there and then you would just stitch the back on. So that I thought was really cute. For 50 cents, couldn't pass that up. And I got some cute little ornament frames. This whole pack was 50 cents. So you just do your piece and then frame it in here. And four of them in there. This little piece of remnant fabric. enough to do an ornament of some sort on there. It's a really pretty one. Laguna, 25 count. Um, it says it's seven and a half by five. Again, that was 50 cents. And then I found this last one. That is so cool, I think. Somebody started this project, probably one of the owners, I don't know, because it was in their box. It is a beautiful Madonna and baby. And it looks like when they got to the metallic thread, they just kind of gave up. They didn't want to do anymore. So I got this completely finished, which I will probably pull out some of their metallics because they're not quite laying right. I can, don't know if I can zoom in and show you or not. And I have the, the pattern came with it. So my intention is I really wanted to try to get better with metallics anyways before I start the Mirabilia. I'm probably going to try to redo this with Petite Treasure Braid, um, this Milky Bar stitch told us about, and finish it up as an ornament because the stitching on here is gorgeous. So again, whole thing, 50 cents. I would have bought a lot more because there were other things in the, in the um, chest, but I was on a motorcycle. And you have limited space on a motorcycle. So, yeah. I just got books and things that I could stick in the motorcycle. This piece of fabric here I bought there also. And this was only $6. And this is what I plan to do beaches on. It's really pretty. Blue color here. Sorry if I'm making you seasick. But that's what I plan to do with that. Thanks for watching. I'll upload my whip video shortly after this. Okay, thanks. Bye, guys.